this movie definitely made me feel all the feels. I had a lot of reactionary moments where I was like, no! It's Kristen, and today we are talking about Netflix's new movie, See You Yesterday. This is a sci-fi adventure directed by Stefan Bristol and produced by Spike Lee. See You Yesterday follows two best friends and science prodigies, CJ and Sebastian, who spend all of their time working on their homemade inventions, and their latest project is backpacks that enable time travel. But when CJ's older brother Calvin is killed by police officers, the two put their tech to the test to try to go back in time and save Calvin's life. The story is really grounded in this familial love, the Black Lives Matter movement, and police brutality. And it also tackles that kind of sci-fi conundrum of if you had the opportunity to time travel, what would you go back and change? Give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments so we can talk about See You Yesterday together. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. I love that we're following these two young African American science prodigies. I think that that is such a great message. I love the idea of getting to see people that we don't don't necessarily always get to see in sci-fi brought to the forefront, you know, people of color. To be able to see a film like this where they really tackled that sci-fi, back to the future, time travel element, but also really pay tribute to like what's currently going on in our world with Black Lives Matter and honoring kind of like Brooklyn and the Bronx and New York City. I think the music and showing us the culture of where these kids live um, just really tied together very seamlessly. The science fiction elements were so cool and I, I think, first of all, they did a great job with like the time travel visuals, and they gave us so many fun references to other sci-fi projects, including the most obvious, of course, Back to the Future, where we got a Michael J. Fox cameo. One of my favorite parts is when he was like, time travel? Great Scott! You know, like, Back to the Future is one of my favorite films of all time, and after doing a little bit of research on this film, I know that it is also one of the director's favorite films of all time. I just thought it was really cool for him to be able to take the things that he resonated with, like Back to the Future, like the culture of living in the Bronx and Brooklyn, and combine them. And you could just tell that that's like a very personal story to this director. For me, this was a bit of like Back to the Future meets a Spike Lee joint, and I thought that they did a really great job with it. In terms of the characters, I really liked CJ and Sebastian. I thought that they had a really strong friendship. And you know, this film actually, before it was this feature film for Netflix, it was a short film that they originally originally worked on with the same cast and so I just think that you can tell that they really had a strong connection and I think that background of like having worked on this project for so many years um, from its first inception to now you could just really see that. The other thing I really loved about this film is that this movie definitely made me feel all the feels. I had a lot of reactionary moments where I was like no! Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening! You know, like when they go back in time, or like the situation that happens to Sebastian at the bodega. I think this film really expertly navigates like all of these different kind of genres. The goofiness, the science, the sci-fi, the more dramatic, serious moments of, of talking about really important social issues. I will say that I feel like CJ as a character didn't necessarily grow. Like I thought that we were going to see her go from kind of like this headstrong, make quick decisions type of person to someone who you know is maybe thinking a bit more but it just seems like a lot of the issues that went on were because CJ reacted too quickly to things even at the end of the film. The other thing is like at the end of this movie I thought that we were gonna get more of a resolution and it kind of leaves it a bit more open-ended and I'm not sure if that's so that we as viewers can kind of figure out what we think that they should have done or because they want to open this up to a sequel. To me, if I were Sebastian and CJ, I would have, instead of going back to the same time over and over and over again of when CJ's brother was shot or right before then, I would have gone back to when they first had that confrontation with Jared because I feel like that is the catalyst that led to all of these issues because if they hadn't had that confrontation with Jared, then the brother would not be in a few with him and then the brother would not have left the barbecue and gotten shot because Jared was there. So for me that last time that CJ was going back I was thinking maybe she'll go back to that time and try to stop all of that from happening. I guess it just did not feel clear the final message of the film. You know obviously they're talking about really important topics like police brutality and Black Lives Matter which I think are super important and those come across very clear but I guess at the very end of the film in terms of the idea of like you know should she stop 
trying to go back in time to save her brother. Like, they didn't really resolve that. And to me, it kind of felt a little bit like, um, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, and that's kind of what they were doing. So, you know, this is the kind of film that I would love to um, pick the director's brain and kind of know, like, what was, what were you thinking here? What was going on here? Because I, I think that there was definitely more to the ending than meets the eye. When it comes down to it, I really enjoyed See You Yesterday. I think that this is the kind of film that will keep you on the edge of your seat. I think it's the kind of film that will make you think. It's just refreshing to see, you know, this different take on the sci-fi genre and including people in that genre that have notoriously not been included in it before. I do think that the end kind of came abruptly, um, but I still really enjoyed the story and the journey that we went on with these characters. You know, I would love to see more films like this one. If you like this video, you can check out more of my Netflix reviews over here. And of course, don't forget to drop that in the comments to continue the conversation. I would love to hear what you guys thought about See You Yesterday. See ya!